Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Indie Brew, a show dedicated to two of mankind's greatest or finest achievements, video gaming and alcohol. Today, we are looking at Crispin's Natural Hard Apple Cider, as you can see there, and Rex Rocket by Castle Pixel, which is a 2D side-scrolling action platformer inspired by Metroid and Mega Man. So we're going to get a pour here. Is our drink, and then we'll get right into the game. This is made out of Honey Crisp apples and Granny Smith. It's got a pretty nice color. It is unfiltered. As you can see, it's got a very pale color, not much like your regular cider, which is usually in amber. So, with that, we are going to get right into the gaming. And we are back. Here we are with Rex Rocket. This is the demo for Rex Rocket from Castle Pixel. As you can see, it's got its, uh, you know, 8-bit kind of style. We are just going to go right in and start our little cutscene. Here we are with our little Rex Rocket. As you can see, it has a kind of a Mega Man looking theme. It definitely pulls from both uh, Mega Man and Metroid, and that's pretty cool. Uh, one cool thing we can do is we can actually use our blaster there to allow us to get into higher places. And there are a bit of puzzles that we have to do here. But I think for now, I think we're actually where we need to be. Hitting these blue things here will uh, deactivate these beams here. So let's try to climb up and blast enemies. And as you can see, very much like the old school classics, I think... We had to go the other way, however. I spent a little bit of time with it, just kind of learning the controls. I like the controls um, better when I'm using the the uh, controller, which I am using right now. It definitely feels optimized for controller support and not quite so much uh, keyboard support. So if you are willing, uh, if you're interested in playing this game, um, I would uh, keep that in mind. Um, I will have a link in the description down below. Uh, so you guys can go and play this, and it is also on Greenlight, so I will have a link in the description down below as well, so that you guys can, uh, play this for yourself, and vote for it on Greenlight if you are so inclined. So, as you can see, we have to hit these things, and there is a wall jump, much like Metroid. Uh, it does feel a little sticky, the, uh, the, the wall jump, but not necessarily in a bad way. Um, and remember to, uh... And dying on spikes will kill you instantly, and in a pretty gruesome manner, actually, when you think about it. Music's really good, very, very uh, fond of the music. Definitely has a, a very action-y kind of theme to it. Um, and I'm, I'm really bad at, at this jump, um, actually, so there we go. I think I, get, I, think I did it. Um, and we will just kill these slimes. Later on, we'll see these slimes actually trying to infect our friends and allies. And I will get a drink here and, and do a, a small review of the drink. Here we are. So, um... Definitely has a little bit of irreverence with the humor, which I like. And that uh, apple cider is really good. Rex, you're still alive. We thought we were the only ones left. We go up from the barracks cryo room. And there were slimes everywhere. Then some of the council guards stopped sh started shooting at us. I had to kill my best friend. Terra Ooslings have taken control of almost every machine and human on the ship, including Lauren. We can't trust her anymore. You're serious? Then we're done for. Not while I'm still captain and alive. Right now, I need to find the commando bot. Any of you seen it? You're going after the commando bot? Great, our captain has gone suicidal. I saw it marching two people down into the barracks not too long ago. Just keep going and make a right at the elevator. So we have our setup here. Uh, we are the captain of the ship, and let's see if I can get up there. Uh, so yes, this uh, this this apple cider that we are also reviewing. Um, if you guys are fans of like Hornsby's uh, half living and mechanical creatures, so yes, there are these you know um, little bits and pieces of information scattered around the world that kind of flesh it out. Very cool. Um, but yes, if you are a fan of Apple Cider, uh, Crispin is, is definitely uh, one of my favorites, and and we can talk to these guys if we so choose. They're taken over by Ooslings. Uh, it almost has a parry taste. Did you... Yes, uh, this is just telling us about the sh air shooting um, that I'm uh, 
kind of botching right there. But yeah, it, it has a bit of an air uh, parry flavor, which you could probably tell by the the uh, color. It's very pale, very tart, which uh, definitely comes from the Granny Smiths in there, and very sweet, which comes obviously from the. And we have to hit these platforms in time, which comes from the uh, the Granny Smith. So if you're a fan of all of that, and uh, let me see, oh, we have to hit that over there, um, and obviously we have to jump on it. So yes, it is it is an action an action platformer, um, very old school style. Really like it. Uh, I would I definitely go and vote for this on Greenlight um, and support the the project. I am doing terribly. Let's see if I can. Uh, it's it is timed as you can see. Um, I had problems with this uh, when when I played off camera as well. But there we go. Um, not exactly sure how far we'll get. Uh, there is a boss I think in the demo, which is obviously the commando bot, um, and a lot of enemies to fight. Very cool design on the enemies. I really I really like the style that they've kind of injected into this game. Um, very, very old school retro again, as I've said. Um, we're gonna take out these guys. They stop shooting grenades at us. There we are. And we will get grenades here. Um, that is. Oh, and we died. Um, which will just send us back um, up here, I suppose. We will get grenades. It is. It definitely pulls from. Uh, Metroid in, in that style of like pickups and less so from Mega Man. I haven't beaten, I have not beat the boss yet. Um, I've heard it's pretty difficult from other people who have played this. But I like hard games, obviously. Uh, generally, engineering soldiers resulted from a multi decade program focused on producing elite warriors for the Council of Science. Through rigorous research and experimentation, the Council's leading minds can now use biological augmentation to create soldiers with enhanced strength and speed, making them very effective killing machines. They have yet to fail in keeping scientists throughout the galaxy safe, though their odd sense of humor and un... There we go. And this is standard issue explosive that can be bounced off. Uh, did we get the... No, we did not get the grenades yet. Um, but the grenades are very helpful. And here is the commando bot. It's your choice, Xana. Give me the codes. Are all blast Tyler all over the place like a space pinata, minus the delicious candy. Tyler, don't do it, Xana. I'll give you the codes. Just don't kill Tyler. That's a good human. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an engine core to blow up. So obviously, uh, pretty gruesome, and again, a little bit of irreverent humor, which I like. Get another sip. Uh, I've I've had this uh, cider cold and warm. It's definitely better cold, but uh, if you really want to taste the apple side of the Equation, drink it warm. Tyler, what happened? You just missed the commando bot. He has the delve to destruct codes. Don't worry, first I'll get you both out of here. The controls are behind that door, and the commando bot has the code for it. Looks like I'll have to find another route. Check your map, and I marked the location here. You'll need this to get through the silver barriers, and there we go. We got our uh, down and B to throw a bomb. And, uh... I think, oop, um, and that is where we have to go. So again, very much like a a Metroid style game. And those blue things are grenades, so we will be able to get up to that. And I think there we go. And we'll just slowly progress. There's definitely some puzzle aspects to this game. I really like it. It's it's very charming. Um, I would definitely suggest uh, voting for it on Greenlight. I, I've, I've really come to like this game, having played it a couple hours. The guys at uh, Castle Pixel are, are pretty, pretty cool. Uh, we'll just slowly go through. And we're going to use this as the jumping puzzle. Um, and hopefully not... Ooh. Let's kill these, these ooze guys. Um, and I had a problem with this... And when I played off, there we go, uh, off camera. But I did it that time, so controls are really good with 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 the with the keyboard. I would definitely suggest if you're gonna play this with anything, I would say don't play it with the keyboard. Actually, we're gonna use our bomb here, and um, oop. our bomb doesn't hurt us, but it, oh, and we died. Um, that's a shame. 
Uh, ooh, we are going to have to do that jumping puzzle again, though, so show off my inability to control <laughs> fine motor skills. Enemies stay dead. That is definitely a departure from the traditional uh, Mega Man style, which is a shame. I'm a big fan of... We'll use our super jump here to get up and get all our sweet loot. Kind of like a uh, one of those Jobot things. Let's see if we can get him. Aha! There we go. Let's see if we can kill him. And use that. Very cool! Again, I, I really like this game a whole lot. I think it, it's very well designed, and the guys at Pixel, or Castle Pixel, sorry, um, have have made a pretty good demo here as well. Um, definitely one of the more finished demos that I've played on the channel. And, uh, you know, first Indie Brew, hopefully everyone is enjoying it. Oh, here we go. Um, going to be a lot of fun here. Oop, and we actually got hit by... Oh, and we actually killed ourselves. Never good. Um, and we will go back here. Do -do 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 -do. I really love wall jumping. It's it's one of my favorite things in all of video gamedom. Uh, things like Super Meat Boy do it really well. This does it pretty good. Um, again, you know, it may just be me not having the, the greatest uh, control um, for ourselves. Um, over over characters, I, I freely admit that I don't have the best hand-eye coordination in the whole world. Um, oh, and we killed ourselves. This is gonna prove insurmountable. It won't. We'll 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 finish this. Yeah, definitely a a, a fun game. Perhaps not a, a game you should be doing. Well, also doing a drinking uh, a, a drink review. Um, but there you go. Crispin is a a fairly uh, actually a very hard very hard cider that thing. Let's see if... Oh! Nope. And we're gonna die. Um, so it has that, you know, Mega Man thing where you can fall on spikes when you're damaged. Um, but Crispin is 8% is alcohol by volume. Uh, so... It, but it doesn't taste too alcoholy. I would definitely suggest that. I don't know how easy it is to find out. Outside of the West Coast, it is a California-based company. Um, we'll just take our, our time here. It's gonna be that thing that, uh, oh, and we just fell. It's gonna be that, uh, that, that missile launcher there that is going to, uh, pose the, the biggest problem. And I suppose that's why it's there. Oop, there we go. But the demo plays really well. Um, I hope they get greenlit. Uh, I will, again, put a link in the description down below. I, I'm a, I have a soft spot for kind of Metroidvania-style games thing is going to really drive me crazy. The game definitely has a, a crazy uh, difficulty curve. Ah, we did it. There we go. Um, I, I've, dev I've heard that the boss is is pretty tough. I'm just going to have to... Yep, there we go. Uh, not too bad. We'll, we'll try to get to the boss at the very least. Oh, very traditional Mega Man 2 style enemy here. Very nice. And and levels are, are very nicely put together. Um, ooh, I see... We can't actually hit this thing, and unlike most video games... Um, let's see if we can do that. Alright. So let's let this roll by. Jump. Okay. Ah, he died. It'll send us back here. Um, so it's not too far. It's very good at the, with the checkpoints. I, I definitely like that about the game. If you're gonna pl if you're gonna make a difficult game, then you need to kind of be. Oh, yeah, we're gonna die. I think we're gonna. Let's see if we can use a, a grenade to blow up that big spinning wheel of pain and suffering. I've, this is the furthest I've actually been. So. All right. Obviously, we have to jump over it then. Oh. Let's be very careful here. Oh. 
and we're gonna die. Prove definitely a a almost mute boy. I I'm sure uh, there are people laughing at the screen here. I'm I'm not very good at, at uh, action art uh, platformers, especially 2D action platformers. Um, there are people probably thinking there's a very easy solution to to this. There we go. All right. And we'll just... There we go. See if we can... There we are. Well, two things dead. And let's open that up. And there is this, uh... Combat support bot program. Very cool that it gives you that kind of... That kind of situation. Um, again, really hearkening to a, a Metroid more than... Than anything. There we are. That will hopefully. The slimes are gonna drive me crazy. Move my my controller there a little. There we are. Really cool jumping puzzles. I'm usually not a fan of, of things like that, but it really works for this game. Oh. Very nice. Did not expect that. And it, it's neat that they they add this this blaster puzzle kind of double jump in. I don't know how uh, upgrades are going to be handled. I'm excited to see what happens when we kill a boss. The the bomb gives me the impression that it, it's it's going to be more Metroid style than Mega Man style, um, and that's pretty cool. All right. Oh, let's do that. Let's see what's this way. Let's check our map actually. I think we'll. I think we have to go this way. I would like to fight the boss before. Ah, uh, very nice. I really... Oh, darn it. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, very nice. We kind of have a, a little uh, ally here. And they do come back, which is nice. Very gruesome skeletons. There we are. Neat little bats. Really, the the enemy design I think is is probably one of the, the, the more charming aspects of this. And I really like this little this little drone. It definitely um, is is unique to this game. I I haven't played a, a Metroid game that quite has something like this. Um, I unfortunately have not been able to play many of the the Metroid ah Metroid games. Let's see where it sends us. Oh, that's a shame. Shouldn't be too hard to get back down there. However. And we'll just charge up our, our laser here. It seems we've expended our little our little helper. Very nice. And we are at the main lift here. The mech suit. Garden Rex Rocket. How about you just hand that over so I can use it to save the ship? Must kill Rex Rocket side. It was never. It was worth a shot. I guess I had to trash it. So we have our our boss here. I believe this is the boss most are talking about. Very cool fight. I've never done it before. We'll see how this goes. Definitely feels like a, a Mega Man style boss with with pattern recognition. I think if we stand here will be safe and just try to jump over it. We should probably... Ah, oh, we died. Um, let's try that one more time. Music, again, really great. Really enjoy it. We will charge up here. Uh, unfortunately, we have to go through the cutscene again. Um, that is, is something that I wish we didn't quite have to do. We'll just, you know, concentrate. I think if we stand right here, we can't get hit? Nope. Yeah, definitely a very sharp learning curve here with the boss. Very sharp, difficult curve, but that's cool. I hope th I hope they don't relent to people who think this is too hard um, and and keep the level of difficulty, because that is, that is definitely something that I am a big fan of. Oh, I guess that's just there for us to... 
use in case we have lost health before the boss battle. Very old school. I again, I really like it. I would suggest voting for it on green light. A lot of fun. Let's use our our bombs if we can. See if that will actually do anything. It doesn't seem to have helped too much. Some health drops would be nice from those guys. Again, uh, not quite sure what they're what they're looking for here in terms of, of difficulty. Um, but I'm gonna keep uh, bashing my head on. We'll give it one more shot and uh, wrap up the episode. I believe we've, we've gone on quite a, quite a while here. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the first indie brew. Um, I will try to you know work out the kinks and uh, let me let me know if you guys think that there are any there's anything I can kind of do to to make the show better. I've enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully there will be more to come. Would like to do this at least on a weekly basis, but we'll see how that goes. Again, very, very much pattern recognition to the boss fight. So it, it is in in terms of old school video games, very much like its old counterparts. Bombs did seem to help a little bit. Then stand all the way back and try to get under the, the wave here. Ooh. And obviously these little guys are here to, to you know drop supplies, although that guy didn't that time. And uh, trying trying my best here to again music's really good. I really ah well guys almost did it. I'll give it one more shot, and then we'll conclude. Definitely really difficult, difficult boss. Really like games that, that don't shy away from the difficulty, however. And again, the, the, the music is very is very good in this game, really tone, fitting the tone. Kind of reminds me more of, of the old school Mega Man games, which is, you know, never a problem. And we'll see if we can kind of work something out here so that we can hopefully kill the boss. It would be very cool try. Obviously those green things will heal us. I don't think I talked about the pickup system too much. Very, you know, very easy to, to kind of... Give me some help. <laughs> I'll take it. Ah. Alright guys, that's been Rex Rocket. Uh, and this has been Indie Brew, and this has been uh, Crispin cider as I take my my final drink here to conclude the show all right hope you guys like what you see again leave a uh, comments in the description down or comments below what you think I should hone in and and fix and, and uh, we will uh, build the show together and uh, as always ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching <laughs>